morning. Today's scripture is taken from Nehemiah chapter 8 verse 10. The people were all assembled, men, women, even the children, as long as they were able to understand. Ezra the scribe held the book of the law of Moses, and from early morning till noon, Ezra read aloud from the scrolls. Everyone listened carefully. Now, this is not a one-way exercise, listening exercise. Levites were present to explain the law. The people needed to obey. The people needed to follow God's law. Nehemiah chapter 8, verse 6. Then Ezra praised the Lord, the great God, and all the people chanted, Amen, Amen, as they lifted their hands. Then they bowed down and worshipped the Lord with their faces to the ground. And then they cried. Why? 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 16 tells us that God's will will teach us what is true and to make us realize what is wrong in our lives. It corrects us when we are wrong and teaches us to do what is right. Reproof and correction. That's why the people cried. God has spoken to, to them, and their lives need to be changed. Then these words from Nehemiah came. Don't moan, don't weep. Verse 10, go and celebrate with a feast of rich foods and sweet drinks, and share gifts of food with people who have nothing prepared. This is a sacred day before our Lord. Don't be dejected and sad. For the joy of the Lord is your strength. The people were made aware of their sin. And that's why they cried. But they had to go beyond repentance. When the Holy Spirit touches my heart through the word, when I'm rebuked and corrected, when I'm confronted with my sin, tears and repentance are in order. Yet there's also joy. Joy that God loves and is speaking to me. Joy that God cares and wants me to walk close with Him. The joy becomes my hope. This joy gives me strength. God is working in my life. Let's pray. Father God, forgive me for I have not followed your directions. I rejoice that you are working in my heart. Let this joy give me strength to walk close to you. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you.